Hey guys, it's Chris here with Sport Optics. Um, I've got Sean here with Night Force. Uh, these guys were um, gracious enough to come down uh, today and do some product training with us. Um, we've got with us today the new Night Force 1 to 8 stuff. Um, of course, they've got their NX8. Um, they've also got the same deal going on in the ATAC R. Um, Sean, why don't you go ahead and just give us a quick overview of uh, both of these scopes and kind of what makes them different. Okay. So, uh, as you said, both are 1 to 8s. Uh, so, the NX8 is a 1 to 8 by 24 first focal plane, and the ATAC R is a 1 to 8 by 24 first focal plane. So, uh, the NX8 is a uh, new family for us, part of the, the uh, you know, a lighter weight, smaller, uh, just compact scope that's very capable. Um, at a little more reasonable price point, about $17.50 retail on that scope. As you can see, lengthwise, it's only about the length of a uh, AR-15 uh, yeah. upper receiver. That's oh, really short. So, uh, yeah, nice and short, real capable. Uh, True 1X on the low end has a daylight visible dot on it, so you can really crank up the intensity, run it both eyes open, uh, like a red dot on a carbine at the low end, but also have that full capability of going up to 8X should you need it. And being first focal plane, you have an intelligent reticle that's uh, usable as well. ATAC R1-8, uh, same principles apply, except it's got ED glass. So you've got the uh, still a fairly compact, about 10 inches versus about 8 and 3 quarter inches. Right. Um, 17 ounces on the NX-8, about 21 on the ATAC R. So still a fairly compact, fairly lightweight, but a significant glass upgrade, um, especially a guy that's going to be using a lot of the uh, 6 to 8X, you know, on a longer range gun, maybe like a 308 or 65 Grendel, um, or just a little more of a connoisseur on a 1-8. You know, the ATAC R is going to deliver that little bit nicer performance, still have the daylight visible dots, still have the smart reticle, um, still have just uh, the capability of that low end of engaging targets fast and rapidly up close, and then being able to crank up the magnification, use a reticle for some hold-offs, and engage targets out as far as the, the uh, carbine's effective to. Nice. Yeah, for a long time we've had guys asking, you know, when's 9.4 going to come out with a 1-8? to eight? Um, You guys have had the 1-4 to four forever, you know, it's been an awesome scope. Uh, guys, finally the 1-8s uh, the are here. Um, and these guys are shipping. Um, so I know one of the big questions that we're probably going to get is, um, you know, the, the NX-8 customer versus the ATAC R customer, right? Um, and we touched on it a little bit, um, but who do you think the, uh, the NX-8 is for? Who do you think the ATAC is for? Uh, well, the NX-8 will work really well on about everything. I mean, it's compact size, everything from a short barrel 300 blackout or 556 carbine. Um, even if you want to run like a clip on night vision in mm -hmm. front of it, yeah. st that yeah. short length with a short rail, yeah, you can still you. put electro optics, right. or you can run it as just a uh, immensely capable scope on such a short gun, all the way up to just a standard 556, 16, 18 inch gun, or or works on a 308. Uh, the ATAC R, um, like I said, is look that ED glass upgrade, a little better clarity, a little bit because it's a little bigger, has a little bit bigger eye box to it. So on something with more recoil, more thump, like that 308 carbine, uh, that battle carbine concept, um, the ATAC R is a little bit nicer for that. Or just somebody that really appreciates that good glass, that's yeah. that pris uh, crystal clear, pristine image. Yeah, um, right. I think they'd really like the ATAC R. Awesome. Guys, if you have any questions about the product, uh, give us a call. Um, check us out on the web at sportoptics.com. Um, I'm Chris, this is Sean, uh, and thanks for watching.